Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is hemophilia is caused by an x link recessive allele. In a particular population the frequency of the males with hemophilia is 1 out of 4000. What is the expected frequency of the females with hemophilia? Take a look. Uh, genotype of the male uh, in this particular case can be of the two variants whether he may have defective X chromosome and normal Y chromosome or he may have two normal chromosomes so normal X chromosome normal Y chromosome and now imagine that this line represent a gene pool and in this gene pool most of the X chromosomes are going to be normal so are not going to have any mutations and in very rare cases we can see that one of the X chromosomes and particular frequency one out of 4000 would be defective. That give us information that probability for this male to inherit this defective allele or defective chromosome uh, or chromosome with defective allele on it is going to be 1 out of 4000. So if we know that the frequency of the males who are affected with this genetic disorder is 1 out of 4000, this also gives us information that frequency of this allele in this population is 1 out of 4000. And of course this also gives us information that males uh, who are phenotypically normal would be 3999 out of 4000. As for the females, the picture is going to be different because we call males a hemizygous because males has only one X chromosome but females has two X chromosomes and different rules apply to these calculations. Actually, we can use Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium where frequency of the three genotypes that can be produced by two alleles would equal to P squared plus 2PQ plus Q squared and all this would equal to 1 because females has two X chromosomes and can be homozygous normal, can be heterozygous and can be homozygous recessive. As you see, probability to be homozygous recessive is going to be Q squared or X squared. Basically, probability for female to belong to this genotype is going to be a product of the probability that uh, each X chromosome would be uh, defected. So it's going to be 1 out of 4000 for the first chromosome, X chromosome to, to have this mutation and for the second also is going to be 1 out of 4000. And the answer is going to be 1 out of 16 million. Now compare this number with the frequency of this genetic disorder in men. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.